Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is Dwarf Words. It's uh, Dwarf Word Tuesday, <laughs> as always. And we're playing Dwarf Words. Yeah, um, we're still on the same version, 0.42.04, with the, the DF Hark version here. And um, yeah, there is a new version out. There is a uh, version 05 out, which has the zombie fixes. Um, but there is no new DF starter pack for that yet. So, I'm gonna wait until I upgrade. Uh, also, apparently, saves will not fix the zombies. Although, I don't have a zombie problem in this, so. And I don't think I'll get one because we're not very close to a necromancer tower, so. Yeah, um, not, it, w it wouldn't affect the fortress anyway. Maybe this one, make Drunken Dwarf Spar properly again. But we'll see. Um, also, um, obligatory Patreon shout out. <laughs> still got the Patreon, still 192.08. Uh, we're getting back to the 200. Also, Irma's here. Um, yeah, I guess I'll have a new, a new photo of Irma when we reach 200 again. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I also need like a new goal for the 300 or maybe even better goal for the 200. I don't know. Um, hard to think of something though. But yeah, uh, enough of that. Let's uh, actually load up the world and uh, start with the door. And uh, yeah, hey, everyone who's already here, um, let's load our fortress. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's not a problem. Okay, uh, oh, we do have a petition available. Soldiering. Approved. <laughs> so let's start with the tour as always and see how long this takes me this time. <laughs> always takes a long time to do the tour. Um, anything fancy on the map by the way in the meanwhile. Oh there's a jabberer. That's like a big underground beast. Um, but yeah it's in the caves underground and we're not doing much there anymore. The last time we had some fun there. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Uh, otherwise, nothing really. Some some giant wrens flying. It's some sort of bird apparently. Um, then magma grabs in a magma. Boring. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is our fortress. Um, that looks like multi-level still off. Good. And uh, yeah, this is the top. So let's start from the top here. We have a fort. Is that a dead dwarf in a tree? It's War Fox's skeleton. Ah, uh, how did that get up there? Like seriously, <laughs> um, how did that get up there? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, how how did War Fox get stuck in a tree like that? So at least it's not an anvil this time. Um, yeah, getting getting his corpse out will be a thing. Let's uh, chop down the tree though. The corpse will fall down and then we can recover the tree. And the last we'll have ghosts. And uh, yeah, one uh, you laid the pes... Konechos? Peskonechnost. I think. It's hard. <laughs> um, so, yeah, top of our fortress. Oh, we might also want to do a DBC to reclaim some of those bolts. Uh, you might actually want to do like a big DBC around here. Like, uh. Big DBC. Lots of bolts to reclaim. Uh, so, yeah, normally, this, what's this? Ramparts. Uh, still some dwarves up here defending. Um. And a statue which should not be here. Huh. How did that get there as well? Looks like some stuff has been scattered or something. Don't know. <laughs> it was close. Nice. We're just best. Yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> Much easier. Um, so, first level. Uh, it's, um, yeah, our barracks which are above ground here. Uh, sleeping room. Training room for uh, archeries. Also, the the, art, the iron, entire fortress is made out of iron because we could. Because there's uh, 
walls. <laughs> Uh, and the closest because uh, it wasn't actually a Russian tumor. Nice. Yeah, I, well, it's not like I know Russian, but I've heard some Russian. And I have some idea to speak that, but it just stops about there. Don't look, it's not like I know any words in Russian. Um. So yeah, iron walls, uh, some stuff down here. Get down level. The entrance here's our trade depot. Um, here's our parchment stockpile. Oh yeah, need to make a library. Actually, this time wasn't the plan for last time, but never did that. Uh, going down a level. Big stockpiles, uh, which are filled with some furniture stockpiles. Um, probably still use more furniture stockpiles. Like, uh, what is this stockpile? Um, bar blocks. This is where we keep the stone blocks, isn't it? Um, yeah, anything which isn't coal uh, or bars of metal is stored here. It's oh, not really filled. Uh, we could like put down another furniture stockpile here, like do it like this, and we do another furniture stockpile. Do um, here is. That will work. That's at least gives us more storing room. Let's see if that fills up. Um, always mining levels, not much around here. Down some more. Um, food farming level, uh, as usual. We're still making foods. Uh, still isn't doing nothing. Kitchen is doing a thing. Um, let's see. Looks like we have tons of wine available. So that is fine. Um, how is the command list here? Uh, still making coffins. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might notice in the stream title there's 90% uh, less, less children. Because of those of you who were here last week, we uh, had some fun with that. Uh, there used to be like, like nearly two pages of children, and now there's like eight of them. Um, yeah, I had some fun with that. <laughs> so, there's way less of that. Um, should also be good for my FPS. Who needs kids anyway? Um, otherwise, uh, chicken stockpile, turkey stockpile, dog stockpile. These dogs look also pretty grown. I probably should set up a uh, trainer and uh, actually train some more dogs because it seems like fit to be done at this point. Um, okay. Down level some more, our um, tavern, and yeah, uh, our temple. We need to set, like, set up a proper temple, set up a proper library as well. Um, so, do that today. Um, kennels, uh, a library. And oh, yeah, also, I needed to expand the tavern because um, it's wants more rooms. It's 117 and it has 11. So that's another thing to do. Expand the, the tavern. Um, and some more. Uh, standard rock crafting level. Looks like we actually might be running out of sandstone. Because um, this was you completely filled with sandstone everywhere. And uh, that's like one of our main rock things. So why don't we dig out some more? Um, low priority digging. Yeah. Dig out this. Uh, you know what? Dig that. Dig out that. Um, wind our fancy stockpile, encrusting stockpile. And there's a lot of skulls uh, and sh muscle shells in there. So, I'm gonna make certain we do something with that. Um, decorate make totems. Uh, decorate with bone. Uh, decorate with shell. Uh, do the same thing with ivory dudes, horns and pearls and whatever. Uh, our egas and such. Um, any CRAs. CRA, CRA. Uh, no, not much. That's our egras. 
<laughs> yeah, children are future victims. <laughs> mm, we get more gigantic wave of kids. Maybe we'll take care of it in the same way. Mm, this should make us rich. Okay. Um. No, then down some more. Uh, woodcrafting level, which should have way more wood in it. Um, I think those trees are, yeah, set to be cut. Uh, let's make sure we cut down this tree first, because there's a corpse in there. Because somehow War Fox's skeleton got up here. No idea how. T <coughs> um, so tour. Um, let's see down some more wood level. Yeah, let's get more wood. Uh, forging level, doing normal forging uh, because we have tons of coke. Um, tons and tons and tons of coke, so that's still fine. Metal bars, uh, we can use the BP command for that. Uh, 99 iron, 28 electrum, that's doing fine. Uh, are we still smelting stuff? Making electrum. Bars, making lots of electrum, right? Because so then we can make some more electrum statues to make people happy. Um, that's all fine. Uh, we're still making electrum statues. We're still making some um, things as well. Instruments, that's the word. Anyway, down level, um, cloth and leather works. Um, don't think we're doing anything here. Starting a single hide, maybe. There's a cloth level. Mm, lots of llama wool clothes. Maybe we should give another order to make that. Also, leather stockpile still doing fine. Um, let's make another set of clothes though while we're here. Um, that would be wool. No. Um, like if I make a robe. Uh -huh. Or shoes. Uh, yarn, that's the word. Yarn. Maybe... Um, five of everything, I think. Yarn dress. Yarn tunic. Yarn toga. I don't think the boars actually use all of them, but... If they're close break, they, they can pick up some new ones. Let's give a good order for that. Uh, cloak. Trousers. Glove. Mitten. Cap. Hoods. Sock. Yeah. Shoe. Um, let's not make yarn bags, maybe. That'll do it for now. Um, armor-wise, leather armor. I think we have all the leather armor we want. Even some iron stuff in there. Leggings. Gauntlets. It's actually filled this uh, armor stockpile, so... Yeah, we're probably fine on armor. Um, I want the second armor, like stockpile there, though somewhere. Um. Hmm. There's still lots of room in here. Um. Hmm. Then they might be across this as well. Um. Maybe just here. A uh, temporary stockpile. Um, here on the bottom. Armor stockpile. Um, then let's set the one up top. That's uh, this one to take from the one down here. I'm gonna keep my armor up here. Yeah. Um, so that's set. Um, leather wise, I think we're fine. Uh, let's get another order for a leather bag. 
least. Uh, make uh, 30 of those. Um, probably have enough water skins and backpacks and such. I'm yeah, not really sure, so. Make me 22 water skins, uh, 22 backpacks, and 22 quivers because I have enough. And that's really important that the military has no stuff anyway. Um. Okay. Down some more. Or oh yeah, or, uh, one of our first graveyards where a lot of peoples are dead. Um, some named people are uh, Ishmael, G. Musk G, um, Doom McGee. Uh, Godstukus, no, that's just a normal name. Warfox here, oh. And Warfox is a Baroness, what? Yeah, wasn't Warfox like made Baron? Huh. We have like a double barony going on here. Um, yeah, they still have some things. Um, Aurelian wants a glass window in his tomb, the bastard. And, uh, you want me to make. Buckets. Well, that I can do. I think it's done already. Um, you know what? Let's queue up some more. Um, uh, that's furniture, out of iron, buckets. Add some more. Um, I yeah, had some tombs here for Aurelian, Rivia's Mojo, and the other parent person. Uh, these two. Oh, I didn't set them yet. Um, we're gonna be made tombs where the two dwarves which survived the whole ordeal ordeal in the cave uh, last time. That was uh, Mincy and Clockwork Jim. Clockwork Jim. Even. Yeah, they survived living in the caves for quite a while. They, uh, they deserve a big tool. They are hero dwarves. With the whole children thing. <laughs> oh, be seating myself. Uh, also, can we have more room for tombs? Down here is the the fun stockpile where we put all the dwarven children's corpses in. And yeah, these are all basically dwarven children. Who. Um, well, I was planning on releasing into the caves last time. But that uh, didn't work out, so they died from thirst. And also, um, expedited delivery was in there <laughs> because he got stuck in there. But yeah, um, we have still have some coffins which aren't used, so we are fine with that. Uh, let's make some more coffins in here. Uh, let's not use our electrum sarcoph because still. Um, let's place all the coffins here. Well, everyone's gonna get a fancy electrum sarcophagus. Sarcophagus. That's a hard word to say. The Russian word was easier, I think. <laughs> Russian name, even. Um, that's it for now. Uh, down some more. There's the first cave level. And if we go down, there is the indoor. Um, hospital slash well. I have I ever built wells? No. B L. Um, build me a well here. Sure. Uh, use a fancy bucket. Chains. Oh, I need to make some more chains. Um, let's make another one here. Fancy bucket. Iron chain. And there. Uh, otherwise, tour-wise, there's not much more. If we go down a whole lot more, there uh, at one point the bedrooms, the noble rooms. Uh, some of them aren't even set yet, and there's some children sleeping in those. Oh, now I get the double bear anything. Mojo and Warfox are married. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. Mojo and. Is the Baron and Warfox is the Baroness. 
But Warfox is dead. Where is he? Like, there's a partial skeleton of Warfox. Or did we have like two Warfoxes? Like, um, if I search you, um, shouldn't Warfox be here somewhere as the Baron? Uh, there's Mojo. Uh, if we queue for search for Fox. Yeah, huh? Here is Warfox, I guess. We might have had two Warfoxes. That's the only thing that makes sense, at least. Why else would there be a, a more Warfox mangled skeleton in a tree, or unless maybe you lost like an arm? But mangled skeleton is basically the the yeah skeleton. He doesn't seem to be missing anything either. So we must have had two Warfoxes. Okay, well that's fine. <laughs> mysteries, though. Uh, mysteries. Um, Door wise. Um, Oh yeah, so I need to set up these normal bedrooms. How much beds do I have? Um, a bit. Not super much though. How much doors do I have? A bit. Not super much though. Okay. Um, bed. 30. And door. Uh, rock door. Add those orders. Um, so then we can have, finally have bedrooms for our dwarves. Like, how are we not tantrum spiraling? It's, it's amazing what a couple of electrum statues can do. We killed so much children last time, or while well, they died from thirst. Same thing though, um, normally you get tantrum spirals, but every dwarf is still like very happy. Um, I'll, I'll show you in the dwarf therapist in a second. Going down some more, there's a silver mine and there is a gold mine. Um, so we can make all the electrum we want. Going down some more, that leads to the place where we had the dwarf in the daycare. Uh, that is here. You can see lots of uh, children's clothing still lying on the ground here, which needs to be hauled up. Because if we put all the ch kids in here, then, yeah, uh, raise the bridges so they couldn't get in. And uh, the idea was that, well, some monster wa might walk in, but never did. And yeah, that's about it for this staircase. There's also, uh, yeah, a magma lake here, and there you see. And here's a little side path where um, we try to make a connection between the two caves. And um, here is the little expedition site where Mincy and um, I can probably not use this at all anymore. Mincy and um, Clockwork Jim survived in the caves for quite a while and they didn't get attacked. <laughs> uh, trying to lure the children there but they never, they never moved out of the, the daycare for some reason. Um, so yeah. That's about it for the tour. Uh, and let me show you the happiness. Um, let me pick up the dwarf therapist. And we uh, sort by happiness, for example. There's. Well, here's. I have a lot of people, dwarves, which are fine, and a lot of dwarves which are quite content. No angry dwarves, no stressed dwarves. No problems at all. Even though I killed, yeah, like 40, 40 killed children <laughs> last time. No tantrum spirals. Um, it's just kind of weird. But yeah, it, it shows to see how good uh, having a proper tavern, which is like engraved, and uh, having a couple of electrum statues in there. That makes so much uh, so much of a difference. This is a statue worth 2,500 dwarf bucks, and uh, it's a statue of um, 
the dwarf asks Belsky settling here. Um, yeah, in 126. But, yeah. The dwarves love that. They love some electric statues, some fancy statues, and that's why they do that. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that's about it for the tour. Um, 25 minutes in. Really can't do it under 20 minutes, but uh, it's something to pass the time. Give you guys an idea of what we've been doing. Um, so, yeah, I got a couple of girls. Um, Bill Kennel, Tavern, and um, other thing. Not on short term memory. <laughs> Set up the bedrooms. Um, and all the good things. Well, let's uh, set up a kennel at least. That's easy done. Uh, no. BK for a kennel. Let's put it in the corner here. Um, make it out of iron bars. Sure. Uh, we need to set a one dwarf to do animal training. Do you have a good dwarf for that? Um, animal trainer. Hmm, probably one without a name and without the military. These are all in the military. Um, so not really. They're all novice animal traders anyway. Uh, let's just find a dwarf then, which has no nickname and isn't in the military, so he probably doesn't do an important job. Uh, which isn't uh, one of these red bars because that's a Yumi, probably. Um, mouse. Mm, so, another one, none of these bold dwarves. And none of these red line dwarves. You. Here we are, exploring the bed. Uh, you have like no skills at all, not even hauling? What? Why not even hauling? Oh, that's good. Now you can do animal training. Um, the rest of you... Uh, let, let's name him as well. You're now... You're now Bisk. Bisk... Gone... Uh, yeah, it's getting harder. Um, uh, let's get the other dwarves, which earned him off animal training. Damn it! There. Now we have one dwarf to do that. Um, now we can use the animal menu. Um, and look for the dogs. Uh, there's no searching. Yeah, there's in this menu. If I search for dog, the dogs which aren't pets could be set for war training. Um, maybe set one or two for uh, hunt training as well. Let's see. Two for hunter, and the rest of you all get war training. Perfect. You have your job to do, uh, Besk. Um, so that's that said. <laughs> um, so we're still slaughtering loads of chickens, apparently. That's fine. Um, yeah, an actual library. Uh, that needs bookcases, and I think I need more wood to do that. Uh, my doors, they are actually in the fortress. They are actually, I think, cutting down trees. Um, yeah, that tree has been cut down. Is that corpse still around here? Should have been. F yeah, oh yeah, here. Should have fallen here. So that will be brought in. Um. Okay. Or can we also make bookcases out of iron, maybe? And... Expedition. Spooty Bard. 
Denied. Um, yeah, we're making some of those fancy instruments. Um, forge that as much as you can. Um, oh yeah, bookcases was the idea, right? No. I think that needs to be happening at the carpenter. Um, maybe other objects out of iron. Oh no, it's here. Iron bookcases. Oh, make me a load of iron bookcases then. Um, perfect. No, oh, no. <laughs> Carps have not been buffed since, well, four years at least. <laughs> Probably more. Um, some orders cancelling, that's fine. Letter record cancels pickup equipment, what's the problem with that? <clears throat> Trouble battalion stuck somewhere. Um Where are you, Robot Battalion? Uh, you're still trying to do that job. Hmm. Seems fine. Um, yeah. Still, he still cancelled it again, though. What the hell's going on with that? Um, like, where are you even going? Trying to go topside? Um, is he maybe picking up the equipment from Warfox? Is he like scared or something? Construct leather. I have no idea what's going on here. Um, <coughs> I'm going back down to the uh, leather works. And he's doing his job. Well, no idea what put down there. Um, maybe he has some grief or something. I don't know. Uh, okay. Also looks like Busk is doing his job constructing more dogs. Uh, he should be here-ish. Ah, oh, here he is. And you're, uh, yeah, training stray dogs. There you go. Um, <laughs> Mojo has put in a ban. Uh, he can't. <laughs> First we make some buckets, then we can't export the buckets. Thank you. A, uh, an Aurelian's glass window in his tomb. Maybe we should work on that as well. Uh, First library though. Um, yeah. Um, how's that order going? What multiple? Smiths here. Kinda want the bookcase to be done first. Um what else did I want to do? Um, oh yeah, the beds. Uh but we need more wood for that, but we yeah, have wood's probably still being hauled in. Yeah, they do. Uh, Probably should stop um, the uh, turkey explosions because yeah we have more than enough turkeys by now and if we slaughter them then uh, that is fine but still are a lot of them are set to be slaughtered um, we have enough leather for everything everything anyway. Yeah, um, let's stop that. Um, we go to the kitchen. Um, it's down here. Yeah, our turkey and eggs. Uh, start cooking with them. 
Also, there's an egg stockpile here somewhere. Is that this one? No. Uh, no. No. Yeah. Um, forbid and permit all the eggs. So, all the eggs go in there. That's fine. So, normal Turkish blockchain setup. Um, okay. So, I'll have to wait for that order with the bookcases, I think. Um, what else do you want to do? Hmm. Mm, yeah, the bedrooms, but yeah, wood order is gonna take even longer. Uh, I guess that's most of the things. Lots of puke outside here. Doors do not like going outside, they're nauseous. Uh, some of them have cave acclimated. That happens. And uh, yeah, this is pretty normal FPS. Uh, it's 60 FPS at the moment, but I say that and it drops down back to 40. 30 even. Oh, the slow, inevitable FPS death of the fort. That's why I didn't fill the moat either. Otherwise, I would have like filled the moat here with water, but I don't want even more water moving around. Uh, also, the problem is that I have like tons and tons of storage here. Tons of items. And that also doesn't help. Um, I guess we could also try some things like turning off temperature. temperature because this fortress... I don't want any, yeah, we don't have a magma mode, so it doesn't matter at all if a goblin jumps in the mode, like in that other fortress and doesn't burn, because the temperature would always off. And it might actually, yeah, save a lot of FPS in this, di this case. Okay, I want to try that now. So let's do that. Let's save the game. Uh, we'll set up the Dwarf Therapist in the meanwhile, uh, no weather, uh, new temperature, and uh, we need to restart the poor fort, okay, and load up the fortress, let's see if that, uh, that should help with the FPS a lot. Yeah, it's still counting down. That seems to be moving much faster. There was no snow in this place anyway, so yeah. Uh, still at 42.04, uh, Shinodato. Um, might have gained like three FPS. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, not not the latest version. Not that, not 05, but um, still on 04, because yeah, there's no starter pack yet for the latest version. Mm, yeah, seemed to like have gone up ish from 31 to 33 FPS ish. We'll see. Yeah, uh, having a good single core processor is very nice. I last like, well, not last year, but the year before that, I got a new computer thanks to the Duck Starter Fund. And I actually have a, got a quad core which has 4 gigahertz per core. Which is about one of the best things you can have for the Fort at this point in time. I think still. But yeah, if only it was multi-core, then things would be fine, but it isn't. So what's that character over here? 
Look, we're Jim actually fishing. Oh, because he's a noble, he just looks different. Mmm. <laughs> Cresting is happening. Yeah, get all the lazy new pack slash DF starter pack. It's been called like the officially been called like the DF starter pack for a while now, but uh yeah, <laughs> he never updated his graphic. <laughs> the paradise is earned. Mm. Trees are being cut, at least. Mm. Things are being hauled. Let's see. How's our iron bookcase order? Uh, slow as fuck. Um, let's see. Now it looks like nearly all coffins have been set. Let's also finish that. Uh, soldiery approved. And maybe I need to make a squad of all these human soldiers that are around. Because um, I've, I've gotten like a lot of them and they all have like different setups. So you yeah, here again. Yeah. Could you guys like drag in the final coffin at the moment, please? Would be nice. And I could finish them all in one go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Dead children here. Yay. <laughs> okay. Um. Can all be used for burial. Um, let's see, so, yeah, a squad with all those Yumis. Um, and well then we have the fun time of going into the military screen. Um, yeah, we have our own set of Axe Dwarfs, we could get a new squad. Um, first probably best to set up... Uh, no militia captain. No, we still don't have a captain of the guard either. I guess we can't let the Yumis be our police. We don't have enough dwarves to like set up a proper police squad either. But we can need them. So I guess maybe we'll let just one dwarf be the leader of the squad and the rest be Yumis. Sure. Um, let's find a Dwarf, which has some sort of military skills and which isn't in his squad already. Um, yeah, his nickname is Fine. Uh, go to military. Eight dwarfs again to be certain. Um, why don't you guys switch? Um, like you? Raquel Anoiko? Um, Anyone with some skills as well, we are a mace dwarf, that's fine. Raquel Onoiko. Um, he's one of those red ones. That's probably a human then. Not a very dwarfy name, yeah, it's a human. Uh, how about you? Uh, plant gathering processor. Uh, probably use that. Uh, you? You're a dwarf? Um. You have no skill. Uh, fortunately, you don't seem to like the red lines in here. Um, what about you two? You at least have some of these skills. Um, the one at the bottom here. You got uh, some people killed. You're a mace dwarf. You're not actually a human. But you're a great arm blacksmith. I should name him. Um, someone needs to be named. Um, let's see. I think we have a Shinerato in here, probably. Um, am Hardeman? Not sure. 
So you're now MR the one. There you go. Any of these which need to be named, like you, you're a very good carpenter. Um, you're a Morco. Any of you with outstanding skills? A Mason? Well, let's just go up. In you lift the. Mm. I think. I'm not really sure. Is there a Shinerado in the fort? No. I well, guess we'll make you the military dwarf then. Um, Stonecrafter here is also someone I want to keep. Stonecrafter is always good. Uh, Martin Wold. What's left? Hmm. I can toast it here. No real military skills. Um, um How about uh, Raquel was a Yumi I think Yeah Mofus here No Well at least one of these dots here Possible Red, blue, blue, red, blue, red, blue. None of these work. There's not much which we can actually use. Oh, the plant processor. Kind of want to keep that as well. Uh, your meow gun. I should probably set some more plants to be picked up. So it just has to be one of these two dwarves. These are the only ones left. Um, and they're all teleport. Uh, well, these at least has high strength and endurance and such. So you are going to be Shinerato. There. And then we're going into the game. Uh, petition. Spoony Bard, denied, denied. Um, then in the noble screen, we'll make Shinerado the leader of the police. Here, Tanner, though. Uh, I think we have another good Tanner. Let me double check that, though. Um, and we'll be here, Shinerado. We have other people for tanning as well. You're okay at it, but yeah, he'll do. Good. Um, let me set up a squad with you. Um, hmm. Probably want to ch change the uniform. I still wish we could copy the uniform so we could have a second metal armor. Um, well, if I change the metal armor uniform now. That is fine. It shouldn't change the equipment of the Hacks Dwarf squad at all. It, I think these uniforms are only used when you're setting the squad. Um, so... Um, yeah, we'll set this to have weapons. Uh, and actually have individual choice weapon. It would also be nice if you had like a training weapons, if you can use them. Um, I don't want them all to have training spears and swords and axes all the, all the time, although... I could. Fuck it. Makes things a tad easier. Maybe a little choice weapon. 
Also, maybe make a uh, load of weapons. Um, to be certain, I have enough for all types. Okay, that's now the metal armor thing. Um, now we go back to the military screen. Set the captain of the guard. Create a squad. Uh, from the metal armor later. And that's Shinrado. And now we add Yumi's. Human spearmans. Human hammermen. Uh, can we search here for human? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, human. Damn, I'm doing something wrong here. Um, also, uh, rename the squad while I'm at it. Police dwarfs. Uh, then. Uh, let's let's remove them all for a second. Uh, go to the right. Q for search. Human. Can I press up and down now? Yeah. Lots of humans in here. Um, let's not put the bowman in. Damn, that stopped my search. Or huh? didn't it? No, they're still here. There's the bowman, there's a baron, a maceman, swordsman, crossman, a pikeman, a axeman, spearman, spearman, hammerman, swordsman. Okay, it's a squad, yeah, Shirado leading the, the squad of Yumi's. That's a... Uh, well, that's a thing. And you're also the police. Um, okay, with that said... Um, we set up the schedule. Uh, let's copy that from the other dwarves. Uh, shouldn't he? Axe dwarves be here, yeah. Copy that. To the police dwarves. Police dwarves will train all year round. Uh, let's see what you linked in the meanwhile. Uh, you're the leader of the police, uh, Shirado. <laughs> Might be a bad idea. Oh, dog thieves. Dogs. Thank God. <laughs> there you yeah, go. That's not. <laughs> I don't think you're all here to watch games. <laughs> to click. Um. Okay, police doors are set. Um, oh yeah, you need a place to train. That would be here. Police doors can train here. Uh, you can sleep and store equipment in here. Uh, that should work. Yeah. Now we have a proper police squad and uh, they should train. And Chirado is leading them. Well, there you go. Um, and lots of people hauling in the wood, so that is happening. Uh, how is the order for doors and such? The bookcases. Not happening much. Let's uh, end that. Do that now. I might only have the one dwarf here which does all these orders, which is War Fox it seems. <laughs> True, yeah. I don't know what to think of uh, Jade as a police leader. <laughs> that would be horrible. Hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, it's still waiting. Uh, how's the doors? Oh, we have 20 doors at least. How's the beds? Oh, yeah, we have a ton of beds. Okay. Uh, with that, we will be able to set some dwarven bedrooms. Uh, that's DBH. The rocks in here. And then set up a thing for this. Um, start with the bed here. Console R. Enter. Enter D. Enter, enter D. Enter, enter B. 
Enter B, move here, Control R. Let me Control P. And uh, we are out of doors. Okay. So I need doors, I'll get some bedrooms. Um, you probably want, yeah, a noble room, being the leader of the police. Oh, you're lucky, you're getting a noble room. Um, you st should still have some here. It's Moyon Warfox. Uh, this is the one with the weird door. Uh, which is now yours. Add this to Shirado. Let's also give you an uh, electrum statue. There you go. Two noble rooms left. Uh, no one's demanding anything, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah, maybe you could have. We should learn how the planning mode works. Like when you're building a thing, like a door, you can oh yeah, press P to plan mode. Huh. So if I do that, uh, let's say I finish this here. And then try that. Um, let's wait until I have the orders done for the first row at least. Uh, should be soonish. Mm. Well, uh, multiple dwarves are actually working on here. And uh, the lecture is stacking up. And let's be grown. Become a straight ram. Is that Rebel Battalion again? Uh, no, no more call. Some people still having problems bathing for some reason. Not really sure why. Um. Let's see. Oh yeah, and I wanted to make more bedrooms and such for a tavern. Uh, oh, we'll have to dig through a tile here. Of course, would like that. Whatever made this tile, at least. Um, a severely, superiorly designed image of Zephyr Webb, the Ashen Ring, by Urus Mech 4. Uh, well, we'll have to destroy that. I'm sorry, we need both bedrooms, apparently. Uh, do high priority digging. There. If I X this, yeah, can I just already dig this tile? Why does it also automatically go there as well? That's weird. Oh well, um, it's probably fine. My priority digging, uh, we need like six more bedrooms at least. Let's just add a whole lot of them. Um, some more 2x2s. Two Mm, sure. Um. Yeah. I'll give you another row here. Future proof it, apparently taverns need a lot of rooms. So that's what we'll do. And some more uh, fancy rooms up here to finish it. Um,
there. Uh, could maybe also add an opening here to the temple, but well, it's a, this is still part of the tavern, so I'm going to leave it like this. Um, okay, dig that out. Always digging orders. Um, oh, we have enough sandstone again, at least. Um, maybe just add another one. Low priority digging. Still tons of magnetite and such around. Uh, this is fine. Um, uh, it's still being worked on and crust is being worked on. Okay. Probably like have a second here. Especially for uh, decorating with shell. There's so much muscles. Um, okay. Let's try that planning mode thing. It's probably working by now. If I build another bed, um, I have some. Build doors, I have some. So, um, go to here. Um, B to turn planning mode on. Uh, why did the buttons change? The counter B then. It's also quick for the mode, min quality, ordinary. Oh wow! So you could use this for noble rooms to set um, them to have like higher quality. Huh? If they're decorated or not, and what kind of material you want to place? Huh? Interesting. I have no idea of these options, it's probably a DF hack thing. Um, okay, so um, we'll start recording. Enter, enter. Oh, it's, it's already placed. Uh, okay. Uh, stop recording. Go to bed. Um, planning mode is on. Uh, Ctrl R, enter. Um, Oh, then place the other bed, then escape, D, uh, planning mode, move here, uh, escape, B, planning mode, oh, it's still on, well, press it twice, it's fine, move here, control R to stop the thing, and now with control P's, oh, no, that fucked up. Damn it. You know, both should be on planning mode. Now, if I place a bed, it's on planning mode. If I place a door, it is not on planning mode. God damn it. So now it is. Bed, planning mode, door, planning mode. Okay. Um, start with a bed. Place it here. Control R. Uh, enter. Enter. Escape D. Here, here, escape B, here, control R, control P. Okay, all of these are in planning mode now and should be placed at one day. Uh, yeah, the lower the number, the higher the priority. It is the summer of 128 now. Uh, yeah. Game loading. So I guess when you're placing tons of rooms here, you kind of want planning mode, and especially when you're maybe doing noble rooms. So Maybe uh, set up an order that all of them um, use Electrum as their base component. Set up all the noble rooms I wanted, though. And that way you can yeah, prevent all the doors and stuff from being placed. Um, yeah, what's happening? 
A thief. Uh, where? Oh, top left ish. There he is. Well, whatever's up top should start shooting at that, and he should run away. And he did. Uh, probably another couple of thieves lurking around. Let's follow him for a sec. He's top of the screen here, and he left. Might be like the precursors to a goblin raid, though. Although, apparently sieges aren't working correctly in this version, is what someone told me. So, it might not be. And well, there's another thief being shot at. Well, they keep coming from that side. Um, let's send. Uh, which squad is here? Taking that, um, you're in the Expo Dwarves, so let's get the Crossbow Dwarves and station them here for a second. Sorry when any more teams show up then we immediately try and shoot at it. Another thing I just think I thought of is actually having a jail. Um, which I guess I can make. Oh yeah, also iron chains and such. Um, okay, one order of bookcases is done. Uh, first make me some more iron chains. Actually, for a, a jail, I want more chains anyway. So... Make sure to build those now. Um, there we go. A vile force of darkness has arrived. It is siege time. Finally, in the year 128. Finally, some gobos showed up. Yay. Uh, what do they have with them there? Uh, siege mode activates. Um, what is this? A beak dog. Huh. Guess they got some of those. Um, anyway, time for measures. Let's first of all raise the alarm. Um, you don't have to sit in the kids' daycare anymore. Mm -hmm. Just the inside burrow will do. Save alarm goes to the inside burrow. Um, inside burrow would be fine still. Let's double check it. Um, yeah, that's the entire level right here. Well, let's add a little bit to that. Uh, that's all the entire level. Yeah, these tombs. Uh, this should be fine. Yeah, here is also what I want to dig a jail somewhere. Well, I can do that in this area. Um, otherwise, if I go to F Shift F8, here I set that up. Perfect. Okay. Um, so inside burrow is still fine. People will run inside the inside burrow. Uh, also, I was thinking, make me a room, middling priority. Next to the wells, here ish. Uh, oh, yeah, and I kind of want a, a food stock pile here. Um, let's say two food stock piles one for prepared food, one for prepared drink. Um, you take from uh, the drink stockpile, you uh, be prepared food, take from the food stockpile. So we also always have some food here for if the hospital or the jail needs it. I uh, also might want to make an entrance into the jail. Okay. Um, I haven't seen Gobos join your fort yet. It might actually be possible. I think it is, but I'm not sure. Um, 
So, siege wise, um, on the top left, well, the sports are already there. Um, well, let's call up the entirety of the Expo Dwarf squad as well. Um, and for certainty, uh, C and D move here as well. Uh, let's give doors a little bit of time to run in. Let's see how fast the gobos are moving. Uh, is that a dwarf there? Is that a ghost there? It's a fluffy wilder. Oh, do you need to be worried about that? Gobos are not very, being very fast. So all there is, by the way. Just a small siege. It's, uh, the first one we have, that's fine. Might be more coming in. Uh, well, they seem to be starting to move. Uh, how about dwarves outside? Um, Clockwork Jim. Alan Plexion and Heidi and Meat Maker. Fisherman. You guys need to run inside right now. And they are. Um, okay. I think we can uh, raise the left bridge already. To be certain. That would be this lever. Uh, I didn't end it. Always pull lever now. Okay, any other dwarf from this point on is fucked. Because we're raising the bridges. Um, would be nice if the bridges could actually raid. Raise even. That's the, why is the right bridge raising first? Okay, I think the other lever has been pulled. So that should raise. There it goes. Okay. Also, uh, these dwarves here, I should set some war dogs too, like uh, Shinrado. You can have some war dogs. Uh, P, uh, E, you can have uh, two war dogs. Uh, where's the other squad leader? That would be. Um, uh, Sootje? It's all Sootje here. Sootje. Uh, you get two war dogs. The rest of you, all of you, get a war dog. Uh, Dwarves before hoes. Um, <laughs> before Yumi's. Um. Oh well. They're not enough Yumi's at the moment, so every one of you gets a dog. Okay. Um, bridge is raised. We're safe in our other mode. Gobos are coming. Uh, well, the list did expand. Lots of big dogs. Well, as long as they don't have flying mounts, I should be safe. I don't have like a gull, so they'll... They'll be hanging around very annoyingly. Since they seem to come from the top left here, I should probably build like an archery tower around here-ish. Like here, maybe. For the future. Um, here come some of them. And we're shooting. Do I have enough bolts? Uh, some alpha iron on arrows and silver arrows and iron bolts. Um, let's make certain we have enough. Uh, forget about the gist list for now. Um, make me an order. Oh, silver bolts um, forever. And then come the gobos. They shouldn't like get stuck on a leader anymore. That's been changed uh, like back in the day when I had like lots of cage traps and one of the, the leader the, the gobos gets like stuck in a cage trap. Then they just stand there like idiots. And that should not happen anymore. 
Although I don't have any cage traps now, so we can't really test that. But uh, that was a thing that was fixed in one of these versions of Dwarf Fort. Uh, hmm. uh, squad B, move here. So uh, please shoot at him. They're not being shot but that much. Still trees around here as well, maybe they're kinda hiding under that. But some people up here are shooting at least. Ah, I saw our bolts flying, nice. 23 FPS, god damn it, see how uh, slow those arrows fly. The fort was running at now optimal FPS, then uh, you hardly even see them, then you went, whoop, gone, but now you can see the entire trajectory of the bolts. And hey, we killed one. Yeah, keep shooting, guys. Do it right here. Let's take a look at one of the uh, lists. Um, random one here. Uh, flying iron bolt strikes the goblin maceman in the left lower leg. A tenant has been torn, he falls over. He says, Death, this is truly horrifying. Those injuries be gone, fear. I've been injured badly. This will keep me so shaken. Another iron bolt, pretty good one, strikes him in the left upper arm, chipping the bone through the cloak. Uh, he loses his hold of his shield, gives into pain. Then iron bolt strikes him in the head, tearing the muscle and chipping the skull and tearing the brain through the hood. And yeah, I got a bolt through the brain. Yeah, bolt still deadly. That's a good thing. When the dwarves can actually hit them. That one was dead in like three shots. Uh, some of these others aren't. This dude is taking enough, not sh of enough shots here now. Oh, uh, those. those. Uh, also, shooting a peak dog. Uh, no, not using any mods, just a uh, DM starter pack. DF uh, is complicated enough without mods. That's why I don't really want to get into them. And so yeah, I kind of want, don't want to like change my perception of the well, not on my perception. Like, want to learn new learn new things in that because it will be weird when I start making new DFVTUD tutorials. Kind of want to be my like knowledge to be on the normal dwarf word. You know, masterwork or whatever. Yeah, shoot. Shoot that gobos, come on. <laughs> 22 FPS. <sighs> Some more gobos incoming. Why not? Do one dude on the left there. How's uh, the rest of the force doing? There's also like a oh, list up here where they're shooting from. Uh, any more I've left here? Yeah, there's still a squad of gobos running around there. How much are they now? That's more than a page. One day they're gonna kill this dude. One day. What? Um, it's not like the axe dwarves and the police dwarves are doing anything at the moment. So uh, cancel that order. Go we'll go back to trading or something. <laughs> it's better use than standing there. Maybe he wants to 
like will of the gobbles are broken and some are really, are really being annoying then then I'll send them out but for now it doesn't seem seem any use to you hey did this one finally die uh, well none to the left anymore so squad B uh, move up here as well. Should we get that dog? Big dog. is not helping is that some orders are being cancelled because uh, not all of them can go outside and some of them are trying to pick up like the gear of the dead goblins and that's outside and they can't do that because the burrow hey they killed that dog uh, how are the gobos doing oh well a new squad has showed up good it's kind of far away Further away, the harder it is to hit. As you can see here. Um, let's send squad B to like the ultimate corner here. Although, oh, there's also some. Yeah, sure, you have one dog. More important that they kill all the gobos. Um, meanwhile, let's take a look at this screen again. Oh, chain order is nearly done. Uh, silver order has stopped. Uh, make me some more iron bolts. At least. Uh, you as well. How about we end these bookcases as well. There's another Gobo squad. Maybe I should do the usual thing with trap boss, so the Gobos have like a different way to enter my fortress and that way it sends them past a ton of traps. It's uh Kinda cheaty, but it works so good. Because, yeah, I'm not wanting to send out any gobos yet or any melee doors. Still, way too much gobos. Um, I think. So the axe towards here. And those are too far away already. Uh, let's keep it like this. <laughs> no, not 90% less cool. Just 90% less children. <laughs> and hey, uh, Tingle, we're in a siege. We're shooting gobos. I have not much of traps or trap paths or whatever yet, so it's taking a while, especially since FPS has dipped to 25, 20 ish. 20 to 25 ish. Oh, was there a goblin in the tree? Oh, there, yeah. you guys yeah it's 42.04 not the latest version yet because there's no starter pack of that yet it's 42.05 is out yeah. 
Come on, couple more shots, maybe? No? Okay, how are the bolts doing? Still loads of iron bolts in here, so... If they run out, they should just get some. Like, uh, let's take one of the random doors here. It's Sidonia. Um, Sidonia has a quiver with iron bolts in it. Uh, Gogon over here has... Um, No quiver. Am I overlooking that? Oh, that is, oh here. I'm overlooking that. Yeah, he has no bolts. Why are you not getting some new bolts? No, oh, you think he... No. <laughs> Maybe because of the... Is there like a I speak of getting in or something? Hmm. Uh, maybe I should stop the squads for a second. Um. Like uh, this is. Left squad, I think that's the B squad. This is the, the A squad, the uh, Axe Dwarfs. Uh, I think it. Ah, oh yeah, it's still there. So stop that order for a second. Maybe it'll go grab things. Uh, Thief showed up in the middle of the siege. That's too bad for him. Come on, around the fort. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess Garrity has no idea of the war fort, and yeah, we're looking top down. It's like the round parts of my fort, the first level. My doors are shooting crossbows down to. The goblins and uh, the beak dogs they have taken with them. Uh, looks like the melee squad is back at the training. So, BM. Hope that reloads all there. Like uh, ammo. Yeah, they. The latest version has a zombie nerf, which well, was necessary. <laughs> yeah. There is some ultimate mouse, but yeah, you don't want to use that. <laughs> so much faster with the keyboard. You just need to learn him. They do seem to be shooting more often now, the B squad here. So I'm gonna take the A squad and take them off station for a while now. See if they use that. Seed is still going on. And, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, the matrix. Door for it is the matrix. It is. Uh, this isn't even ASCII, luckily. Um, so actually with the tile set to make things look a tad better. You can see that these are little axe dwarfs and swords humans. Instead of just a little D walking around. Mm. So how much gobos are left? Still enough. Uh, yeah. Thing is, if I open the gates, I have drawbridges here. Like this is a whole uh, sort of moat which isn't filled with water because of FPS problems. If I open the gates, the goblins storm in and they slaughter my dwarves. I, I got some melee dwarves here, but 
Goblins are strong, you cannot underestimate them. Mm. Where are they? Up here? Are you leaving the map, maybe? These are at the edge of the map, they might leave the map. Yeah, I think one... no. Left? Yeah, exactly. Zombies, like a single uh, zombie made out of a hair, could like wreck your entire fortress. And that's nerfed. <laughs> zombies needs, I think arms was the thing that's keeping zombies alive, not heads. So yeah, you can still have zombies without heads uh, in Dwarf Fort. around annoying in the hills there yeah fuck hair zombies come on get close to my fort so I can shoot at you Meanwhile, yeah, these are probably be placed, uh, most of them. Uh, rather wait until all the beds are placed, but it looks like the last couple of beds are being placed. So, there we go. I should also automate this. If I press um, Ctrl R to make a macro, R, enter, move here, R, enter. Move here, Ctrl R, and I can press Ctrl P. And also make make bedrooms out of all the beds. And now my boars can use these bedrooms. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, basically it just still counts uh, Zombie giant elephants, that would wreck everything <laughs> Zombie yak is still pretty big as well But the zombie, I don't know, chicken would be a whole lot less scary That's, uh, that's pretty good Oh, hey there Um how about we send the uh, B squad down here for a second? And how about the A squad up here? No, there you go. Here they are. <laughs> Military screen, we have four squads, two squads of Axbows and Crossbows. Uh, we have the. Uh, the expo dwarves and the crossbow dwarves f fully filled. Axe squad and a police dwarf squad, which is uh, Shinonato as captain of the guard, and a bunch of Yumis that wanted to join our fort. Shoot the gobos! Come on! Come on, B squad! Mostly iron armor. Uh, the axe dwarves they have leather armor. The, the melee squads they have metal armor. Yeah. Still the giant list. Let's send the A squad here. Yeah, shoot him. Uh, 
Yeah, there's some shooting, and hey, another goblin in the tree. Um. Yeah, we're shooting. Wonder if it'll give up. Yeah, shooting at the goblin in the tree. And some down here. You hurt yet? No. Uh, yeah, this is three years in. Date 128, we started at 125. You uh, would be able to see that if I turn the Dr. Jan bar off for a second. 128, 427. Good day, Dr. Jan. Oh, this is going slow now. Um. How about that jail that I was setting up? Uh, well, that's been taken out. Uh, let's hide this. Put in a door. Uh, oh, it's still implying. Well, let, let's turn it off because I'm not used to that. Uh, build me... Um, restraints, that's V. Yes, chains. Um, got enough chains. Looks like things. Um, Better to not put them next to each other. Yeah, well, six is probably good enough. And that room can be used for justice. Uh, meanwhile, the siege. Uh, later. Still shooting at that gobo. Oh, yeah. They did fix the issue with not getting sieges. Uh, well, you can see it here. You can, you can get sieges. I think it was the it's 2012 or something? Like the 2012 version of Dwarf Fort. Sieges have been back in since like 2014 at least, I think. Come on, kill him. So luck. Up here. No one shooting. Look up was near. Oh, well, there's the list. Uh, v S no S A M. Move a couple of tiles. Should also clear cut the trees all around my fortress when the siege is done. But I still have some of those human archers around as well. Um, I can put those in the squad. Let's see, bring a militia captain. Um, if I search for Archer, uh, Bowman. No. Um, maybe humans can't be the leader of the squad anyway. Let's pick a random dwarf here. Uh, I didn't have much. I don't have a nickname yet. Uh, you are probably the only other one. Um, you uh, are gonna be someone. Uh, let's see. Let's try uh, Bean. Don't think we've named you. You. Alright, going in it. Squads. Now you're going to be a militia captain. I search for Skryabin. Uh, 
Um, if I go to the military screen, there's a new squad. Militia captain, create a squad. Uh, archer squad. Um, search for bow. Uh, human. Oh, there's the one human bowman. Stick rebuttal. Uh, human. No, 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 no. Ugh, fuck. Um, Q for sky. Place two in the list. Q bowman. There's also a human crossbowman. He might be another squad though. Uh, fuck Q. Go to the right. Q. O. Enter. Um, I think it should show here if he was in a squad. So, yeah, we can have some more. Oh, here's the other crossbowman. I think. Let's search for certain human. This is so weird with the search. I'm not really used to that. Human. Enter. Content crossbowman. Are there maybe still more? Q. Human. Let's take three battle. Oh, uh, that's still four people in the squad. Discord. Discord is like another. Uh, Team speak like thing, right? Like is Ventrilio out now? Because I've seen Discord around as well. <laughs> like first team speak was the hot thing, and then Ventrilo, and now apparently Discord is. I see that popping up more often. No, I'm not really sure why people switch a lot between that, but I guess it's better. Um. Oh yeah. Uh, finish this. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess blink the thing. Don't know if I'll join that. Um, let's see. Let's name this the um, bow humans. Yeah. Um, oh, I should say like. Um, Wait a minute, you think your bottle is a bard? Uh, okay, human bowman? Does he actually have a bow equipped? Um, for okay, he's equipped. He's an individual to change ranged. Okay, that should be fine. Uh, then the bow humans can move to here. That's more people shooting. Uh, siege weapons. You can build those garbage tra trebuchets and catapults, but they're kind of useless since you have to like funnel goblins towards them. Uh, let's send the A squad here. Oh, you we start picking up their crossbows and bows. If they have a bow. I hope you brought your own bow. This is just this. Um, like the inventory. You have an iron bow. Okay, good. Please tell me the gobos are leaving the map. Uh, S A no, um, B M here. And the S A M here. Hey, the siege counter is gone. Nice, there's four left. Okay, let's um, slaughter them. Now we're gonna open the bridges and send out the melee squads. Uh, step one. Squash key C and D. Move here. Get ready. Uh, 
good enough. Pull the levers. A, B, N. A, B, N. Let's have the melee squads get some action. I'll probably automatically run for that gobo once the right bridge goes down. No? Well, do it then. CD. Uh, you know what? Uh, send the humans first. Please, doors. Uh, kill that dude. Job dead. Uh, D. Kill from a list. Um, go after the others. F and G. Enter. Well, they're all standing on the same tile. Uh, I guess it took a while for the goblin to actually die. And uh, this is the Space Fox style set. Space Fox. Let's follow this guy. There's the goblin. I think he might have killed the dwarf. Also, someone has done a thing. <laughs> we lost a human spearman. God damn it, he. I think he took care of some of my human spearmen. <laughs> Luckily I sent the the human squad out instead of the dwarf squad. But, uh, um Why don't I have well enough armor? Is the the order has cancelled, that means the all the goblins are dead? Yeah. Okay. Uh S A O B O C O D O E O uh, yeah, we lost at least three police doors. Uh, Satsur claimed a closure shop. Uh, let's stop the alarm. Uh, let's DBC the entire fucking place. Well, we can. From pretty high up. One corner to the other corner, to a couple levels down. Um, and we might have yeah, a Yumi which probably needs some hospital care, so Dot Christian might actually do a thing for a change. Um, yeah. Wow, well, uh, can I see the chat log? Uh, yeah, or, uh, the Goblin Maceman is probably the last one here. How much pages is this? Four. Um, fine bolts. Uh, bolts. Air stops. Human spearman stops the goblin in the right foot with the silver spear. Owner return. Misses the human goblin. Goblin amazement bashes the human spearman in the lower body with the iron morning star. Human Spearman bites the Goblin Maceman in the left upper leg. Uh, that's shown firmly. The Maceman strikes at the Spearman, but the shot is deflected by the spear. Let's see some other random things. There's so much. The Goblin Maceman bashes the Human Spearman in the head with her Iron Morning Star, tearing the muscle, fracturing the skull, and tearing the brain to the large Lana Wool Hood. Uh. Uh, Discord is... No, it's not exactly like TeamSpeak. Okay. It does have voice journals, but it's for more. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see, some other random things. Uh, come on, Maceman has embedded it. So yeah, Maceman still had some kills at the end. He would pikeman and the swordsman and be found dead. Yeah, here another one. He bashes the all human swordsman in the head with the iron wing star. Uh, human spearman hacks at it. It is deflected. Strikes it in the left arm with the pommel of her trainee axe. Uh, strikes it 
zit er Human Maceman Spearman, maar die blokt bij een Iron Shield. Om in gives him the pain, uh, because a bolt struck through the cloak, uh, right upper leg. Human Axeman slashes the Goblin Maceman in the head with his bronze halberd. <laughs> I'm actually using the halberd. Attack is deflected by the Goblin Maceman's helm. Here the end. Um, Human Axeman strikes the Goblin in the head with the pommel of his apricot training axe, but the attack is deflected. The Spearman stabs the Goblin in the head with his iron spear, and the injured part is cloven asunder. That killed it finally. Yay. Okay. But yeah, threat over. Um, let's see if they actually. Yeah, I think that's the Doctor Dwarf. Is that not Christian? Yeah, it is. Wow. Let's follow him for a sec. He's, uh, yeah. Actually, bringing the human probably to the hospital. Nice. Give him to give our hospital a job to do for once. I have to go all the way down. And then. Dragon in a wooden cage thing still works uh, as far as I know. <laughs> still works. Uh, he, he still might leave him to die, but uh, hey, at least he brought him to the hospital. Uh, also, these chains have been built. Uh, why is there a thing in the top of here? This is a normal rope. Uh, what is on this tile? Someone lost his shoe here. Okay. Oh, well, this room is now uh, used by justice, so we can hook up people up the chains. Also, yeah, people have dragged wine down here and some food, some nice uh, water buffalo eye roasts made out of made out of uh, mussels, uh, chicken eggs, turkey eggs, and B prepared water buffalo eye. Yum. Uh, how about some other foods? Raw mussel roast. Ew. <laughs> Made out of uh, strawberry, horse cheese, mussel, and more mussel. That's what our people here in the hospital can eat. Um, it's still. Actually, quite a bit up towards the hospital, uh, to the morgue. And what is he actually like, using here? Um, soap! Actually using the, like the one bar of soap to clean him up. Nice. <laughs> and, uh, that must be some... Hemp? <laughs> some thread? Probably suturing. If I take a look at not Christian now, he is uh, suturing indeed. Cleaned up the, the wound with soap, and then s now he's going to store the the ball somewhere completely different in my fortress. Of course, the patient condition. Well, he has a problem with his right upper leg. Um, we can also take a look at health here. Probably this guy. Uh, still a diagnosis request. Um, dressing request. Immobilization request. Oh, so you might actually be used on the um, traction pads things. Also, a crutch required. Oh boy. Uh, anything else with him? SX uh, cannot stand. Uh, the X thing. Uh, partially broken tissue. Uh, tissue pain. I'm pretty sure he's lost his leg. His right upper leg. Um, 
Does he have a right lower leg? No. Oh, uh, yes. So... His left... Right upper leg is just hurt a lot and he cannot stand. Um, I should have crutches and such, right? If I take a look in these... Uh, oh, there's not much in here. Well, there is uh, splints and crutches, so... Buckets, threads. Uh, let's also queue up some maybe some more soap to be made. Since we actually used some. Um, it's, it's light work, it's not still not happening. Um, I guess not. Uh, people hauling stuff inside here. Probably towards here, yeah. Corp stockpile. And there's also the second level here with the yeah, bigger corp stockpile. Um, but there's still lots of things remaining. What? This place should have a fucking door. Maybe even a second one. I can do couple corpses here. This guy was meant. Uh, yeah, this is, these are gobble corpses. I don't want gobble corpses in here. Um, let's change that. Um, are there no sub options for corpses? Huh. Um. I mostly had this uh, stockpile here when we were hauling the children up. Uh, I guess that is not really necessary anymore. So if I just remove this corpse stockpile, they will haul it to the actual proper uh, stockpile. You might want like a bigger corpse stockpile though. Uh, you know what? Three layers is good enough. There. So hold them all there because that's where the things can go away. So it's a fluffy wambler again. Yeah. So hold all the corpses there, not the uh, in there. So, yeah, um, ninety percent of the children are dead. There's eight kids left now. We had some fun with that last uh, stream. Also, we're at the two fucking hour mark. I need to stop the stream before for YouTube exporting purposes. Um, I will, yeah, stop the stream. Uh, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I'll get myself a new drink as well. So, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back.